Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's keep playing as the Union of Britain in this Ahoy 4 Communist playthrough. Ooh, this is not looking good for the Soviet Union. I'm gonna not I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This ain't looking good. Even though they're not the right type of communist, it's not looking good, guys. I mean Jesus. I did check. Germany has like over five hundred factories now in total. Pretty good amount of manpower. Not too many ships. If we had to go to war with them. Uh, the Soviets obviously have less ships. Quite a few divisions, but they are fighting a massive two-front war. And I didn't realize this, but Japan is also attacking China down here. Go figure. Also, China does own Macau and Hong Kong, but they have not been taken up by the Chinese yet. Or the Japanese, I mean. But, British Communist Alternative, I'm really thinking... Oh, wow. Mita Moors is now white. Wow. I'm really thinking here, we're going to go to war with the Axis sooner than I thought. Because even though the Soviets aren't that close to capitulating, they are beginning to become closer and closer. So our goal in this episode will ultimately be to take out Denmark, establish another 24 division army here, and get our tanks ready for all hell to break loose. Or at least our entire military at least. Because this is going to be one pain in the butt to take out the Germans. Because they are very powerful. One thing that you should know about the Germans in this playthrough at least. Or at least, you know, ever since Man and the Guns came out. Is that they are very strong. Pretty much broken at this point if you're playing against the German AI. Because they will wallop you. It is ridiculous how strong they are. That being said though. Uh, right now what we are trying to do is get our tanks in position to attack the Jutlin. Or I guess Copenhagen. Even though we have our infantry divisions down here. Uh, we have our subs already going. We need a couple... Actually, escorts. Huh. Got to send you on escort duty. Not yet, though. Uh, we do have our strike force. Task force, strike force. Three carriers, three battleships. Which is... Actually, this looks very similar to the German high seas fleet that I did tab over to look at. Uh, yeah, you might as well do that. And then patrols. Well... Naval invasion support, pretty much that. All right, so go ahead and tell you guys to invade whenever you can and attack Copenhagen. But where are my tanks? You are taking freaking forever. I know you're in the northern regions up there, but we need to be mobile as fast as we can because this is not going to go well. This is really not going to go well. If we could attack Denmark, I might release a small little portion of Norway. That's probably my plan. A little portion of Norway sounds pretty good. Wow, even with everyone doing their missions, we have full uh, oil. Wow, we got enough fuel. That's kind of kind of odd. Let's see. Take you, take you, take you. Finland, heavy fighters, heavy fighters, tactical bombers, great. Come down here and do Northwest Germany. Uh, is that it? Do we have any other planes? That would be a very good thing to know. Got a couple more interwar bombers that we could use. And then... Naval bombers could be very useful. The Danish belts. As well as... Do we have any... Oh, close air support. Interesting. Uh, heavy fighters, yes. Oh, we have heavy fighter twos. That's good as well. I'll actually have you do the sea zone, just in case. I mean, definitely we will have to build this up again, but that's okay. Alright, you know what to do. And... Air bases. Let's see, 2 out of 10, 5 out of 10, because actually Sc Scania, Scania will be a great place to build up an airbase so we can attack Germany directly. Alright, that's good. We need this one next. Oh crap, I need to do industry stuff. I keep saying that. I need to do industry stuff, but regardless, I will get to your comments about right now since we're waiting a little bit. Good, my timer's still going on. I thought I clicked it to, clicked it to stop. What are we building, first of all? Uh, that's not bad. That's pretty good stuff. Holland. Oh yeah, we definitely want more forts. Yeah, put this stuff at the bottom. Yeah. If anything had to wait, it would probably be the dockyards. Just because I want to start building... Uh, actually, we don't need this either at the moment. I really need... Well, their bases are good and all, but I need the beginning of land forts. I mean, Germans will come and just try to thrash the hell out of us. Uh, let's see. Where are you at? Oh, you're not even going to make it, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and go to war with the Danish. Hopefully they don't join the Axis, which I doubt they will. And let's see. 
Not bad. Pretty good. All right. Looks good to me. Call all allies in. Right, let everyone have a great time. And we're losing the battle already. Great. But there are eight divisions, and we're attacking over a river here, so... Not really surprising. Really not surprising. As... Even though, if they have eight divisions here, and they have a max of 11, that means, that means there's only three other divisions around here. So, really, my goal was just to distract uh, the Danish. That's all they were. My guys were just a distraction. Great. Very soon, we will have everything under control. Oh, we took... Not our house. Our house. Go ahead and come up that way. Awesome. Oh, we have some supplies coming through here, hopefully. Now we have the Danish belt up here, or whatever this is, the area. And then go ahead and push them out. This is looking very weird here. And can you come down here? No, you cannot. Well, get a little bit of support. The tanks are doing fine. I really don't care. They're just here to distract as we continue to push. And this is looking extremely disgusting. I'm not going to lie. Oh, what has happened? Let's see, Danish convoy. Has any other naval battle transpired? Another Danish convoy. Uh, ooh. Get more manpower. We are not mobilizing. We will need more manpower. Export focus. We'll probably have to go to limited exports. Oh, nice. We get two more civilian factories. Uh, let's see. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Political actions in 1951. 1941. 1941. We have to be democratic to invoke the alliance of 1373 to get Portugal to join our faction. Interesting. Request Azores lease, but we have to be democratic. Huh. I did not know that. Of course, we can do stuff here. Social education of People's Republic or People's United Provinces. Not bad. Uh, there's really nothing up here. Uh, war support? We can actually use some more war support. Let's do it against Germany. And then next one we'll go with is more manpower, of course. And we've got a couple divisions. Oh, nice. Seven divisions. Great. Actually, that's so great. We actually have an another full army here. Actually, that's really good because we're definitely going to need them. You know, I said stuff about Neil Ritchie last time. That he gets less experience gained, but I don't I don't care. I need him. Alright, so with that in mind. And everyone else is coming down here or already down here. Do that. Come down here. And we'll attack Copenhagen from two sides. Go ahead. Come on, good. This is good. Delightful. The tanks oh, all the tanks are down here now. Oh, they got a couple Spanish divisions to help out. And, of course, we will push as hard as we can into Copenhagen. Don't give the Danish any time to relax. No, no, no. That's one way you can win a battle, as I'm completely ignoring the German-Soviet front. Oh, God, I just don't have enough divisions. And me to defend Africa, or at least defend my allies in Africa? That's not going to happen. I can't even get to them, except if it's Egypt or something. There's literally no point to defend that area. Down here is okay. I'm surprised that is... Seriously, is Japan Japan is at war with the Germans. If anything, I'm rooting for the Japanese to beat the Germans if the Soviets lose. That's going to be one weird thing. But they are beating up the Chinese pretty well. Uh, oh, the Soviets. Oh, the Japanese made a little pocket down here. All right. Uh, not like not like it's the. I can't even talk today. I love coffee. And for whoever said that comment earlier about me loving coffee, you're awesome. Anyways, uh, yeah. This has not moved too much, but hasn't, you know, time hasn't gone on very far, very much. Go ahead and just keep pummeling them. I, we just got to keep moving. Give them a little extra boost. Surprised I didn't give my tanks a boost yet. Uh, good. Take every inch of land that you can. Take the airbase away so they can't say no to getting bombed. Ah, uh, you love it when you, they can't consent. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Oh, basics? Ah, yes. Basic submarine snorkel. Wow, we already have stuff for the next destroyers. Awesome! Good, so we can make the next submarine, which is good, even though we don't have that much naval experience. It's 1950... 41. It's 41. Construction output. Definitely goes with some more output. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Alright, so with you guys, I'm thinking I'm going to need two armies down here. Uh, yeah. Where are you guys at? You guys are up here. I'm going to send you and you under a new general and under, the, under a new field marshal because this has just got to be rearranged. I'm going to need a lot of entrenchment here. So this is what we're going to do. I uh, forget who has the orders. Oh, it was you. Crap. Whatever. 
Um, actually, since you're already over here, let's go ahead and add him under him again. And that's good. So all of you guys are down here, and all of you guys are in the UK. That's fine with me. My goal is to really defend this portion of land and maybe use tanks. Come on, yeah, I'm going to lose that area, that province down here. I'm going to lose uh, Maastricht. But use Denmark as a way for me to bust through here, hopefully. i got to really make sure that our tanks are really up to the task. More medium tanks at 38. Uh, I definitely got to research maintenance companies. Um, uh, okay, my game is lagging very hard. I hope it's still recording. Hopefully it is. Oh, uh, there it is. It was lagging just extremely hard for some reason. Uh, uh, support anti-air actually might be good. The Germans love support anti-air now. Absolutely love it. Infantry divisions, I might make them 40 with just because we don't have a bunch of divisions, but we can make the best divisions ever. Uh, second half of you guys, come that way. Oh, it's paused. No wonder, no, no, nothing's going on. Go ahead and do that. It's like, actually, half of you, come over here. Stop sucking up all the supply. Send five divisions over here. That'll be good. Squish them down. Oh, there's... Oh, before you get down there, just go this way. That'll be fine. Actually, you know what? Since you're down here anyways. Send half of you... Here. Good. Now they're just... There's no... There's no room for them really to escape. Don't give them time to react. No thank you. No thank you. 30,000 losses on our side versus 81,000 men on their side. That's pretty good. Uh, this right now is not very good. When there's no one guarding this side of uh, Copenhagen. And actually, I'm going to add you here as well. So with these extra divisions leaving, that's good. Do I have logistic companies? I do not have logistic companies on these guys. What the heck am I doing? What am I doing in this campaign? Absolute craziness. Yeah. If they want to attack, I'll give them reason to attack. Ah, so apparently, maybe in here, a little bell go off. Or a little notification. Apparently, according to someone, which now screws up my screen. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, I'm, going to just, I'm going to do this. Sorry about this for a few seconds. Hello, everyone, again. You know, it's uh, me here again. This is the same episode. Uh, why did I do that? Why did I have a fade out, fade in? Just because someone made a comment and for me to dismiss the comment away from, or my notification from where default map mode is and strategic navy and strategic air overlay, I had to close out, which stopped my recording, so that's why there was a little fade out, fade in right there, so my apologies about that. But let's continue on invading the good old Danish people. Now, we obviously don't have very good supply here. Very, very bad supply, actually. But the show must go on. So Our tanks are holding down these guys pretty well. They want to leave, which I kind of understand. Uh, please, just don't lose. Just don't lose. That's the biggest thing. As a tanks are really driving these guys away and out of here. Just, oh, okay, we killed off the Danish soldiers. All that are left in Denmark are Spaniards. Oh, they have a single division left. The Danish do. All right, can we attack from this side? Because even though we're not very strong... Oh, we got convoy escort focus. Nice! Light hole production is better. Trade convoy production is even better as well. Uh, let's see. Destroyer training experience gain plus 10%. Destroyer combat experience gain plus 10%. Ooh, better anti-sub-warfare technology. Cool. Fighter production, jet production, non-contact stuff. Britannia rules the waves. Yeah, this stuff is all good stuff to do. BSA company. Ooh, more infantry equipment. Could be fun. Could be a lot of fun. Air defense. Add maximum anti-air. Radar. I love radar so much. As you can probably already tell. Coastal command. All right. Well, what do we need? If we're going to go to war with the Germans, we're going to need a good navy. And I'm actually going to use my destroyers separately to destroy, hopefully, some enemy subs. Which means we will really need some more anti-submarine training schools. There we go. That's a good idea. All right. Another guy here. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Convoy sunk. Lost. Oh, it's paused. My bad. Come on, guys, you got this. Just give it a little bit more gas. Oh my god, you nearly killed yourselves. Wow, that is hardcore. These Spanish divisions, what are they made of? Rocks? Oh man, they're... Oh, they have anti-tank on those guys. 
Oh, that would make sense. There's a single division here left. Just squash them. Nice. Very cool. 42,000 versus 102,000. Not bad. Not bad. And we did it. Copenhagen is ours. And Denmark and all of Scandinavia is under us. Oh, wait. We get Iceland? Hmm. I'm just going to take all states first. Awesome. Very cool. So, we have 48 divisions down here. We're going to need a lot of supply down here to help them out. Now that is good. Honestly, the next enemy is really just the Germans. We have four tanks that really, 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 really need to heal. Let's see. I'm going to send all of you guys home repair. I'm going to start forming some really good destroyer convoy escort-esque types of battalions or forces, I think. That would be good. But really, that's what patrols are for. Anti... Something, something, something. Hmm. I'm going to decide on what I want to do. Let's see. We have 11 subs, which we can add up here. Let's go ahead and, go ahead and get rid of two. Select. Shove, up, shove them up here. Go back home. Do that. Repair. Combine you two. And actually, subs, you just come up here anyways. That's, uh, repair high, yeah, that's good. Go ahead, everyone, do that. Go ahead and repair. We need more oil, more fuel, and actually, you guys are fairly trained. So, yeah, I already trained you guys. I've trained you to be the best that you can. Awesome. Hmm. Just kind of hang out. I actually, even though it says patrols over here, I might make them do anti-submarine stuff or something like that. Let's see, so we got a couple generals here. Oh, you guys are really injured. Huh. A good goal for us. Well, two armies down here might be good enough with enough land forts. They have a ton of divisions down here. Our tanks need a little bit more time to... Okay, never mind. They have enough supply anyways. Honestly, I think we're really ready to go to war with the Germans. I would just want them to push a little harder and further away from us near the former Netherlands. Or I guess the Netherlands generally. Japan is definitely taking out Southeast Asia and Germany. And yeah, not bad. Not bad. So, actually I might add a third general down here. Let's do that. I think that would probably be best. Yeah, just do this. That makes it a little bit more balanced, a little more even. That'll be good. Three full armies down there. And then you two... No, I don't want two doing this. I want one army up here. Why? Because even though we have Coast Guards, I'm gonna need someone to help defend the islands, the main island here, just in case Germany invades or Italy invades. Italy might invade. They're really good at naval invasions in this uh, new meta. Surprisingly good. 24 divisions up here should be good enough. You, Brian Horrocks, do the same thing. I just want you to get to keel. If you can get to keel, that would be great. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more manpower. Uh, yeah, looks good. Uh, like a whole production. Awesome. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. And actually, you guys, tactical bombers. Uh, take that off for now. Have everyone just hold. Because their location will be extremely important. Actually, the Germans will navally invade into Scandinavia. I can already tell. Um, you know what? I did take out the Netherlands. I will liberate a little portion of Norway. Now, unfortunately, I had to do it like this. And then take things back away. Mark. Uh, I won't take that away. Mark, mark, and mark. Cool. So, at least this way, the Norwegians are beginning to... You know... Make everyone similar to us. More equal to us. They don't have that much manpower, but they do have a few factories. That's good enough for them for now. And I will give Ireland more stuff later on, as well as the Netherlands, but Germany is just the main target. Once we're once we're, the Germans are done, I'll probably liberate a lot more. So yeah. There's the last of the coffee. Coast Guards. I'm going to need you to do Scania down here. Actually, I'm going to need you to do a lot of things down here. I'm going to need more Coast Guards. That's realistically what we need. Yeah. That's really what we're going to need. Uh, this province I'm not too worried about. The rest of them I'm not too worried about. Go ahead and do that. It's fine with me. And raise it to medium. 
Cool. I just need the tanks to be refitted as soon as possible, because four medium tanks with a Panzer Expert General should be strong enough to break through some of these lines. Now, the German AI does not use right now in these couple divisions, at least as far as we know, anti-tank, which would be really good. Since we are medium, I maybe I should have gone with heavy tanks. I've not used heavy tanks in such a long time, but it's really good right now to see I know it's a complete random tangent that the Germans and the Soviets are duking it out, and it doesn't look like the Germans are just nuking the Soviets now. That's good. That's, a, that's good to know. That's really good to know. Over here, things have slowed down as well, which is good. China and Japan are... Actually, China. They're actually pushing down into Japanese-held German territory that was taken from France. That's a lot of different countries in a single sentence to say. They're, did they just... Maybe the Chinese are actually doing well, since this was Yunnan earlier, but that reformed into China. And why am I stalling by talking kind of fast about not going to war yet? I'm just worried about my war effort. Uh, the Germans are probably still pushing in, actually, a little bit. But let's take a quick look. German-Soviet war. The Germans haven't lost very much. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is ridiculous. The Soviets have lost four, four and a half million men compared to the Germans... Almost 700,000. This is almost the essence of being, you know, broken. I mean, Jesus Christ. Guys, 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 that's nuts. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say what you want about the Germans and them being overpowered right now. and they, I guess they are mobilizing more men, but... Holy smokerinos. Uh, what about the... Oh, I guess the Soviets. We'll check first. No, I don't want their focus tree. Um, Details. That's a lot of manpower, though. That's a really good amount of manpower. Japan still has quite a bit of manpower as well. Just keep keep those divisions further and further into Soviet territory. I really want the Germans deep, really deep inside Soviet territory. So right now, what we're going to do, even though we don't... Uh, it's Every day I wait, really, the Germans become stronger, which is very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Hmm. Naval bombers, naval bomber twos. Mm, let's make some subs. Yes, better subs, please. 1540 subs. Uh, yes. Snorkels are a must. Better torpedoes are a must. Extremely good torpedoes are a must as well. Cost us quite a bit, but that's a lot of torpedo attack. 1940 subs. Uh, we'll wait for this one to get finished, as well as this one. And then we'll just switch everything over. And since we're here, 1936 subs might have enough time to rip radar. Ooh. Let's get some better tubes and some more speed. Oh, we can't do that. Darn it. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of this one to become a 1940... Oh, no! Crap! No! No! I clicked the wrong thing. 1940 sub. I love subs. I don't know why. I just, I just love them so much. I'm probably making too many subs, to be honest with you. Yeah, honestly, I need heavy ships. I just need heavy ships, but... I haven't researched 1940 heavy ships yet, and that's where we're going to end me trying to produce a lot of heavy ships. So that's okay. That's okay for now. And you know what? Since we're, since we're waiting, let's go ahead and... What are you doing? You're doing... Oh, strike doctrine stuff. Uh, train. Since I want someone to do something. You guys train. Oh, we got even more subs now. Great. Combine. And let all you guys train, even though I will want a lot of you to become better subs. It only takes nine days. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we need more naval bombers. That's not good. Oh, look at all these subs that are going to need stuff. Uh, do that. That's pretty good. Um, okay. I thought Qing China was in the war with the Japanese against the Soviets. But they they have another idea, which actually would help the Soviets quite a bit. Yeah, is there anything I can do over here? I mean, I don't know if this would do very much. The one true revolution, we can always justify on the Soviets later. Let's do this. Screw it. Let's do Soviet cooperation. Though we have our differences, we also share an enemy. We shall propose an attack from both sides, squashing the Germans before they realize what has happened. Well, we already know what's happening. The Germans are kicking some Soviet booty. But not too badly now, which is good. Oof. But, uh, yeah. If that... If... 
at the end of this focus, these 70 days for this focus to work, if I have, like, it just makes me auto-declare war on the Germans, we're not going to be in a very good position, but that's okay. That's the position we want to be in, and a not very good one, right? Right? Right, guys? Yeah, right. Let's see. Good, we're repairing some more subs. That's awesome. Train, train, train. Get us a lot more naval XP. Uh, just, yeah, switch everyone over. Ah, uh, that's where everyone went. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Destroyers, actually, since we have so many of these guys. Actually, we have five flight cruisers. Throw them into here. Just combine them for now. Because right now I'm going to take them apart. And they're going to start doing some... I really don't... I don't want to do... Es convoy escort stuff. But I'm going to have to do it, because where are we getting our resources from first? Rubber? We're getting rubber from over here. We're getting two things of it, and then over here... Oh no, oil, we're getting from the Soviets as well as these guys, which is the same amount. 16 units in total. Oh, let's get better tanks, too. There's so many decisions you can make that I'm not entirely sure what is the best decision to make. But obviously we will... Definitely learn in the future. Actually, just in case, add some forts up here, too. That might be a little important. Uh, radar's pretty good, but do that up here as well. Rubber, this, we're gonna need more rubber. And I'm, uh, I am out of spots for rubber. Great. Hmm. Which means I'm out of spots for factories. Hmm. This area's all pretty good. Oh, we do own this area up here. That'll be good to know as well. Yeah, do that area. Do that area. I mean, I could liberate Iceland, but that just make the game lag a little bit more. And that really wouldn't give us that much more of a benefit seeing as they really don't... At least Iceland doesn't really have that much manpower anyways. I will need more rubber, though. I have to have more rubber. Do that. At least get us one more rubber, since we own this portion of Sweden anyways right now. Alright, very good, very good. I could spend... Oh, Soviet state of Norway. Yeah, more research speed is always good. Yeah, I definitely want to see what Soviet cooperation will do first. Ooh, Kafkurupa. Oh, I am using Mobile Warfare Doctrine, which is cool. Uh, actually, I chose this because we could go either Modern Blitzkrieg or Desperate Defense, which will give us more manpower, which we must have. I don't think that I will have ever enough manpower. And for this stuff, you get more organization as infantry, which is good. Wait, my cat's still in here. I thought I... Uh, whatever. Uh, backhand blow is not bad. And tanks get more breakthrough, more uh, organization. Hmm. Simple population. Guerrilla tactics we don't really use. Effective of partisans doesn't really matter. You know what I'm going to do? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with Modern Blitzkrieg first. But if I find out that I really desperately need more manpower, I will switch this around and go with... 2% more manpower with the Volk Sturm and whatnot. So let's go with Modern Blitzkrieg because organization's good, as well as more breakthrough in organization for our tanks. Yeah. This is why I went down this focus, this military branch. Land doctrine. Words are hard. Uh, yeah. Look at all this crap we got to repair. I chose to repair it. Whatever. Um, yeah, we could definitely use more. Go ahead and Take stuff from the subs, just because I know we don't really need all this right now. Nice, right, so that'll be done fairly soon. We're just waiting for the focuses to get done. Awesome, we've got another army group ready to go. Field Marshal. Uh, I don't really know if I want to put a Field Marshal with him. With you, I'll put just William Platt. That sounds good enough. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to do this over here. We'll call this Scandinavia to help organize a couple things for us. Scandinavia. Scandinavia. I, did I spell that wrong? I think I spelled that wrong. Scandinavia. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure, whatever. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Construction speed, repair speed, build stuff faster. That sounds good to me. I love building stuff faster. For you guys, whoops. I'm going to have you defend Stockholm, this area. Why? Because I'm going to need a lot of divisions here. Just in case. Like, the same idea with defending this area. I will definitely have to have an army over here. Now, if the Soviets lose Leningrad, that'll just be another front for us, which is fine with me. Yeah, it looks like the Soviets are definitely giving the Germans a lot more resistance, which is great. 
The Japanese, not so much. The Chinese are doing better, which is good. Ching China, what? Why? Imper oh, you're fighting the entire well, common turn, as well as the Germans and the Italians and the people like that. You know, I thought the Chinese were crazy, but not this crazy. Bolster nationalism, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, they got strikes, widespread strikes. That's 30% consumer goods factories. Holy crap, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, and they got all that nice. Uh, yeah. Before we go to war with the Germans, which is literally our next step. We'll do that. Oh, great, another 12 divisions immediately. Awesome. Go and throw everyone onto here, just in case. 14 more divisions, awesome. And we got max out fuel. I could be using planes, I guess. To help defend us. Let's see. Do we got any extra planes? Oh, 200 bow fighters. Do that. Do that. Very cool. Let all of you guys train for now, since we will want some pretty experienced pilots when the time comes. Some more bombers. Uh, let's see. Do I have any naval bombers? 100 naval bombers, even though we're really not making them. And I guess I'll use close air support with whatever I have. Carrier naval bombers, screw it. I will even use those. Because those will all be very important. There you go. Alright, how many more days until this is done? We got a few more days. I will have this episode run just a little bit longer. Oh no. To see what that focus does for all of us. And Kiev has fallen. Ooh. That is not good. Jing China is doing not great. Definitely not great. But the Chinese are definitely expanding. So that's kind of... Reassuring, even though that China's not doing well, this China's doing better. China, China, China. Alright, very cool, very, very cool. Yeah, with these 40 width tanks, we should be okay. And we have 35 Coast Guard divisions, not bad. We're just gonna need a lot more of everything. But that's that's every game. Construction workers, does this this does help us with building forts faster, which is what we're gonna use, and my cat now finally wants to leave us. Ah, uh, how great. How absolutely great. And I will be back in about three seconds. Alright. Have a good day, Mocha. Alright, come on. We want to see what this does before we end this episode here. And... Awesome. Spear oh, yeah, we'll do this one next. We get more output and dockyard output. Uh, does that do anything? Um, hello? I guess it did nothing since the Soviets were already at war with them. That probably is a requirement, and this is not good over here. So, with that in mind, and there's no decisions over here regarding anything about cooperation with the Soviets, go figure. We will end this here. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Next episode, we will go to war with the Reich and hopefully not get destroyed completely. Uh, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will get to these comments that I didn't get to today, tomorrow. And uh, I forgot about them, sorry. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. See you later.